Hi Taurus, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to your May Gemstone Crystal Reading. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, thank you so much for your support. I greatly appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and comment if you resonate with this video. If you enjoyed this video, I greatly appreciate it. So let's jump in Taurus because there, oops, there is a lot of energy going on here. So with the full moon in Scorpio, which is May 5th, and that, that date may differ depending on your location, okay? But it's called the flower moon, and it's called that because it's all about starting to see things grow that you've planted seeds, okay? Things that you've planted seeds on, as well as seeing things blossom and come to fruition. So it's also a very fertile time because you, it's also about planting new seeds and seeing those manifest, manifestations coming in. Now, being that it's in Scorpio, which is a water sign, that's all about very intense emotions. So you may feel anxious initially. This will affect your seventh house of commitments, which is all about marriages, partnerships, business, okay? So let's talk about relationships real and partnerships first. Keep in mind that this can be with a lover, a family member, or family, friends, career, money, whatever, okay? But it's going to be a time of transformation and really dig beneath the surface of your closest and most intimate relationships. And it's a time of assessment and shedding that old skin. If it's not working, it needs to go. And if you're currently in a commitment, and I'm, it's like there's two scenarios here, okay? So if like you're in a loving relationship or it's good and you know everybody has that their ups and downs it's definitely about maybe it's it taking things to a next level here having heart-to-heart -heart conversations um, and communications because it's a time of addressing any issues maybe that haven't been addressed or need to be addressed the other scenario is is if you're in a relationship or a situationship where you're not in alignment with one another whether that be you want more and the other person isn't giving or you are a third party, for example, breakups are going to occur. Things are going to be shaken up and brought to light. And it's going to be really hard to ignore this, especially with the emotions you will be feeling during this time. Now, if you're single, you could certainly have a romantic or even professional person come in that you will meet that will have some type of significance because remember you could be married but you could be in some type of business partnership right so again it's not strictly love it's multiple things okay I was just trying to give examples just to kind of throw that out there so I am getting that I'm trying to see how I can say this. Rem okay, you need to remember that you all have free will. But the more you resist something that needs to be let go of, the more blockages you're putting up for yourself. And you could feel... How can I say this? And see, I'm having issues articulating, which is what is indicative of like the first week or so, how you're going to feel like that anxious, maybe not knowing how to articulate, but like you could definitely just get like tongue tied is what I'm getting, <laughs> you know, um, it, 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 regarding communication. And that's because we're in Mercury retrograde, which ends around May 14th. And with Jupiter entering your sign, um, around May 16th, it's going to allow new opportunities and ventures to come in here. And you have a, an opportunity for a glow up. It's like you're turning a new leaf. So communication could definitely start around, you know, after the 7th, but probably more so better communication is going to happen after 
mercury retrogrades over okay and again I said that you could be anxious in the first half of the month the beginning of the month because it's like maybe you're hesitant to address something or you're hiding how you truly feel but this is really going to be a time of releasing blockages for yourself and getting centered balanced and remember slow and steady wins the race so approach matters in this way versus any type of impulsiveness you're feeling especially due to the fluctuations of emotions and it's and it's not just you know it's about you being centered and balanced mentally spiritually emotionally it's time to stop living in the past and live in the present accept the insight you receive whether that will be through intuitive feeling hitting emotions like unhappiness in your current situation or perhaps you've been procrastinating something many of you really need to seek self-love and love yourself because you can't attract something loving to you and again this could be with a lover career friend family if you don't love yourself that's a blockage how do you attract love how do you attract love if you don't love yourself because some of you are looking to another person or situation to fill that void and it's not going to happen which is why you may be going through repetitive cycles as well as holding on to a person or situation that is not healthy it's like you need to come to your own rescue here and not depend on someone else to do that for you because the only person you can depend on at the end of the day is you it's time to realize like it's time to nourish yourself not feel guilty about it and by giving to yourself and taking care of you it's going to assist you in becoming balanced and surround yourself with harmony and it's time to have determination and resilience here because it's going to be required there's a strong message of healing emotional wounds and some of this can even go back to childhood whether it be abandonment issues any type of abuse disappointment you will be gaining some hidden knowledge here and you really need to remove the distractions if it disturbs your peace you need to let it go or if it doesn't give you a sense of peace it needs to go so let's let me give a little visual here and I don't have a visual but let's put it in our heads okay think of dominoes okay when you push that first one down it affects all the other ones to fall down simultaneously so by removing the distractions the toxicity the unhealthy behaviors that starts the domino process like it's the first domino right and it, it then allows you to love more freely which then you build your self-confidence and the self-esteem and that starts going and from there it creates a continued flow that's going to allow you with an overflow of abundance in your life that leads to a ha you know with happy and better connections affection you know having a being affectionate or having affection within a relationship if that's not something you're currently experiencing because for a lot of you this is a struggle I'm getting some of you really find it hard to accept compliments or even be an affectionate because there's some type of self-esteem self-confident issue and you know healing is hard it takes a lot of work and it, it requires forgiveness in a sense and it's part of healing and that doesn't mean you need to tell that person you forgive them you can keep that to yourself but you need to also let it go and it's also a, a reminder like you know people say oh you need to you need to get healed okay well you never are 100 percent heal because if you think about it heal is derived derived from the word health and health is pretty much measured on a scale right so no one will ever be a hundred percent healed per se because the scar is always going to be there but it's about not dwelling on it acknowledge it versus keeping it hidden and pushed down and and let it go um if some of you may be dealing with some health issues like autoimmune stomach issues ulcers inflamed joints I don't know why I'm getting teeth or, or maybe reproductive issues and I'm gonna say this is a very fertile time but there is something associated with what you're putting in your body or something that's in access that needs to like be detoxed and get rid of and I got that for another son and I don't know who but anyway 
there's some sense of like an excess of too much. You can, you know, work too much and that affect your stress level and affect things in your body. You can, um, you know, exercise too much and that's a negative effect on your body. So from a business perspective, if, if you're in the beauty industry, anything, you know, with self-care, aromatherapy, be clothing, counselors, attorney, helping others, you know, because when you think about the beauty industry or just things like, you know, self-care, aromatherapy, that's all about injecting that self-love into yourself and taking care of you, right? As well as even therapists and attorneys, because if you get a divorce, then, you know, that's something you are now proceeding to do to better yourself and get yourself in a better place. But if that, you know, that's not the only business ventures because there are definitely new opportunities and new ventures coming in. If you look at the pink in these crystals and these gemstones, that, I mean, pink is a spiritual color of love, not red. People think red is love and it's not. Pink is the spiritual color of, of love. And there is pink all over in these in these gemstones. And really, it's like needing to do things with love and genuine love, right? Um, and doing things that you do love and enjoy. And if you inject the love into what you do and have gratitude, or, you know, appreciation, and it's also about not just receiving but also giving, then things are going to grow and blossom leading to celebrations for you up through to the end of this year. If you're not happy in your job and you, you know, you just go there for a paycheck and, you know, you, you now's going to be the time that you need to assess this because you're not in a high vibration, you're in a low place and it's not good for you. You're not able to manifest things as quickly. It's, it's a blockage, right? So Taurus, I hope this helped you. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Keep standing in your power, and I'll see you soon. Bye.